Hello my YouTube friends, thanks for joining in tonight. Please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell if you haven't already. Tonight, man, we're going to be talking about this Mackie Micro Series 1202 mixer. I had this, I've had this board for over 20 years. It's seriously been in a closet, in a rack. And I pulled it out tonight just to see if it worked. Turned it on, fired it up. Said, you know what, man? I'm gonna do a little video on this because that's a um, that's incredible to be able to turn on a piece of gear that's been setting up so long, and it fire right up and just sound really good. Wow. But yeah, we're gonna talk about this board a little bit. I actually bought this board for Live Sound, and I think this was one of their first series that they came out with. But uh, if it isn't, it's been, you know, like I say, I've had the board over 20 years, so. Um, but yeah, if any of, you, any of you guys have this board out there and it's still working, man, let me know. I, I mean, wow. That's really, really cool. You know, um, a lot of times when you let things set up, especially electronics, computers, and everything, um, yeah, over 20 years, I'm just floored. It actually sounds pretty good. Now, the board has always sounded a little bright. And um, so right now I have the highs rolled off. I'd say they're probably about 1030. And uh, the bass is at Unity. But I really like this board because of all the different inputs and outputs that you have on it that you can choose from. And it really makes it nice. I am going to now seriously think about using this little mixer with some good compressors, some warm audio gear in line. It actually has two, two um, auxiliary sends on it. So, I mean, there's a lot of options here, a lot of different ways I can route my gear. It has RCA tape in and tape out, stereo, um, yeah. So if any of you guys uh, have this board and it still works, man, I want to know. I think that's just awesome to be able to turn something on and it just fire up like that. But we're, I'm actually recording tonight with a Canon camera. And, uh, you know, it's just it's coming right out of the mixer, basically, and going right into the camera. There's no compressors or anything in it. It's just dry. And uh, I'm kind of talking off access, you know, at the microphone right now. But it actually sounds pretty decent. Decent enough to uh, just just to do some tracking with it. See what I can come up with. Or just pick maybe an instrument or two that I might want to use to, to run out of this, uh, use the preamp. I don't know. But sometimes if you have a vision of a song and you can kind of hear how each instrument plays its part in the song and, uh, and you build the song like that, it's kind of really neat to go in ahead of the game, especially if you're the writer of the song, and uh, have that vision and be able to have that, uh, uh, the ability to do so. And that's a beautiful thing when you can print your material um, the way you want it, the way it's EQ'd, the way it's compressed, and when you get uh, when you get to that level of being able to know how to build the song in that aspect, uh, the better engineer you'll be, and uh, it just you're just more rounded as an engineer and producer. But uh, I tell you what, I really, really do uh, enjoy this. I'm just, I'm still tickled to death that, uh, that uh, it fired up like it did. And uh, man, that really, the proximity effect really, really works. Now, I have no pop screen on this mic. So, uh, sorry about that little popper there with a P. But, um... Yeah, hey, we got a lot of great things going on. And again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do, man. We have uh, we have some really cool stuff coming up. 
and I just wanted to get on here tonight, man. I seen this thing worked and um, had to uh, share it with you guys. So thanks for joining in, and we will see you again.